Ryan, when you're positioning your portfolio for 2020, we're coming off a record-setting year. Obviously, we've seen a pullback over the last couple of days. How are you positioning your portfolio at this point? Well, I'm just as wildly bullish as last year. Of course, I was right. Um, and I think you just look at statistics. I've talked about this a you lot. You don't think we can have a repeat of 2019, do you? Um, I don't think you're going to see another 20% plus return. But anytime you have a 20 per, uh, percent plus return year, the following year is typically like averages around 10%. So a double-digit return this year is not out of the question, Sean. What about the the, uh, the rise in the geopolitical tensions between the U.S. and Iran, we obviously see it spooked investors a little bit, although we didn't see maybe the extent of the sell-off that we were expecting to see. Do you expect that to kind of simmer down at this point and be in the rearview mirror pretty soon? Yeah, I think, you know, look, I mean, oil prices have kind of settled back. I mean, last year we had that drone attack. Same thing happened. Big spike in oil came back. And I mean, really, we've kind of been at war with Iran since the 1980s. So I don't think it's as... You know, earth shattering as uh, you know, as people may think, especially the market right now is not reacting that dramatically to it. Ryan, you're bullish on the U.S. market. Are you seeing any opportunity overseas, specifically in emerging markets? Yeah, I'll go with Alfred on that one. I love the emerging markets here. I mean, again, it just comes down to you have cheaper valuations. Um, the dollar's finally starting to weaken, which is very good for the emerging markets. And growth rates are better overseas. It's hard to believe. Um, but if you look at growth rates, specifically in the emerging markets, where populations are bigger and a lot younger, that's really the long-term opportunity. The U.S. is still a great place to be. But long game, you got to have emerging markets in your portfolio. Well, you two are very bullish as it stands right now. <laughs> I want to talk about the Warren Buffett indicator because sure. that's something that's maybe yeah. flashing some warning signals. So the Warren Buffett indicator, for our viewers that don't know, it measures the total market cap of U.S. stocks versus GDP. GDP. So as it stands right now, that's at a record high of 153%. Sure. Does that make you guys second guess or be a little bit hesitant at all? Um, so the good news about being a quant-driven firm is that we get all this fear out of the way, right? So um, 153 historical high, but if you look at the last three years, it's been trending that way. So it has not; it has been in red zone area for three years consecutively while the market has just ripped. Now, looking at GDP growth decline while the market is up 31% in 2019, you would expect it to get even more alarming, so, which is where we are. Um, we don't use it, so we, we don't necessarily look at it, but what we're telling in investors and advisors is it is a, is a really good time now to look at your portfolio's risk. Um, take a good look at how sensitive is your portfolio to the overall market, because what we're seeing is that it's, there's, there's going to be more volatility of movement. And investors don't want to be caught flat-footed and not realize, well, I'm carrying a lot of risk. Well, that's why your portfolio moves so much to the downside. Yeah, I have to agree with that. I mean, the tide goes out. You can see it's been swimming naked. Mm -hmm. um, if you see where any money's been going in the market, it's been a lot of growth stocks and growth where the multiples are actually getting overvalued here, where if you talk about value stocks, we talk about international stocks, there's a lot of places where valuations are a lot cheaper and the value is a lot better for the long term. You're not going to know that until the market actually pulls back. So it's a good time to get re-diversified. absolutely agree. Ryan, what about technology? Technology was a huge outperformer in 2019. A lot of these tech giants were covering calls, it seems like, almost every day. And there's yeah. still numerous bullish calls when it comes to some of the biggest names, names like Apple, names like Facebook, like Google. Are you seeing any investment opportunity there? Um, I think it's going to keep going up just because if you buy the S&P, and that's what investors like to do, it's like a tech fund and drag. Mm -hmm. um, it's basically 30% tech, so that can keep bidding those names yep. up. But again, longer term, that's probably not where the value is. Short term, you may get another pop. I mean, Apple is up almost 80% last year. You may get some upside here, but that's not where the real value is if you're buying new equities. You want to be buying value again, international, you know, emerging markets. All those things are really better value. Yeah.